we've acquired a car battery. So what I'd like to do is turn this into a portable power source, a power bank, that we can use in the camper van or wherever we are, and that I can charge from any 12 volt outlet. So either from the car, from solar panels, or from our bike generator, which is probably what we're gonna do most of the time. So I thought I'd show you how to do it. Here we go. So aside from the obvious things that we've got down here, we've got a Schottky diode. This is 10 amp rated, low forward voltage, 45 amps reverse max voltage. Uh, and we've got that because we're using this on a pulse width modulator and we want this battery to behave only as a load, not as a voltage source. So we're gonna put a diode in the circuit. If you were using this and building it directly into say a solar panel battery controller, you don't need a diode, uh, but we do need it for our purpose. Now you can tell by the markings on the diode which way in the circuit it goes, uh, but if you need to test it, get the old multimeter. You see we're reading the full battery voltage there, so that's the correct way uh, around that we want it in the circuit. If you reverse the diode, we are still getting a small voltage. Now that's uh, a thing with shock diodes, you do get a bit of reverse leakage on the voltage. Uh, but it doesn't matter for the purposes that we're using this. So you can tell if you get a much, much lower voltage in one direction, then you know which way to put your diode in the circuit. So you can put the appropriate size of fuse in for what you're going to be using and for your cables to protect your cables. So whatever your lowest rated cable is, get the appropriate fuse and put it in. Just make sure you've got cables and fuses that are going to support what you're doing with the project. So there you go, finished. Uh, it's connected up here with two connectors. We've got a, a voltmeter and an ammeter on there. Shock your diode and we've got our plug there that connects it up to whatever you're gonna plug it into. So in our case, we've got this extension lead there. So this now plugs into whatever power source we wanna plug it in. Uh, we can plug it into solar panels, it'll go into uh, the engine from a car, you know, on a DC outlet. In this instance, most of the time, we're gonna have it plugged into our bike generator. If you've not seen our bike generator videos, check them out on the channel. We've got a port on the front just there. So one of us can get pedaling, get it charged up. Let's give you a quick demo. This is a standard USB-C charging lead. We can put it in our 12 volt outlet that we've set up on there. So just a car charger. There we go. So we can also plug an inverter in. One of these inverters is nice because you've got a USBs and some sockets there. So I'll get that on. 
turn it on, there you go, so we can charge laptops and that type of thing from this as well. Alright, that's nice and easy isn't it? So we can use this now whenever we go camping in the van or wherever we need a bit of portable power. I've noticed I did stick this over the handle on the battery, probably not the best place to put it, but you can stick that anywhere obviously. So um, yeah, if you make one, enjoy. Thanks for watching.